Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Halal World Kitchen. My name is Rehana from Rehana's Cuisines and... I'm Amina. So Amina, take a guess. What do you think we're going to make today? Maybe bread. Very close. You see we've got some sugar here, some coconut milk here. Any other guesses? Coconut bread. We are making mahamri or mandazi today. This is from both of our hometowns because in Somalia you do eat mahamri or mandazi, right? Yes. And I'm from East Africa. It's like a staple food for us. So what do you like to eat your mandazi with? Condensed milk. Maybe Nutella. Ooh, Nutella would be good. In Tanzania, we usually pair it with like a coconut curry. So I also have made some pigeon pea coconut curry, and that is traditionally eaten with mahamri or mandazi. Do you want to get started? Absolutely. All right, let's get into it. Now, you can bind the dough with your hand, but I like to do it in a machine. It goes pretty fast, okay? So... I'll be calling out the ingredients and you can put them inside. One cup of coconut milk, just a tablespoon of sugar and a tablespoon of yeast. Now, the reason why we put sugar in here is because the yeast needs to eat the sugar in order to make these gas bubbles. Do you see these bubbles up here? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's the yeast. And you always want to do that because you always want to make sure that your yeast is good. If you do this and you have no bubbles, that means that your, your yeast is no good. So you do you want to put that inside here? Sure. And I highly recommend putting the liquids in there first. So that way you're not going to have a whole bunch of flour sitting on the bottom of your bowl. That All right? Would be hard to mix. Yeah, because then you have to get a spatula and mix all that. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we, do you wanna break the egg and then just break it in there? So you're gonna do a quality check. Break your egg in a bowl is you wanna make sure that it has no blood spots, um, it doesn't have anything else in there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our oil in there and I've got about six, seven tablespoons of oil. We're gonna put that in there. Next we're gonna do is we're gonna put three fourth cup of sugar in here. Cause our mahamris are not very sweet, but they, they do require sugar in there, okay? For some balance. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Next, you can add some cardamom. I have powdered it, I've grinded it. So we've got the cardamom powder in there. Perfect. Next, you're just gonna put all that white flour in here. Perfect. Now all we have to do is mix it. Every flour is different. Even if you get a different brand, it's it could be different. So if this dough is very sticky, we'll just add a little bit more flour in it, okay? okay. So here we go. Let's get this started. It's going to make some noise. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and get all that extra flour in the middle so we can get everything nicely mixed. We'll just have to stop it just a couple times, okay? We don't wanna lose flour in the process. Exactly. All right, so I can tell that the dough is a little bit sticky. So we're not gonna need too much. I'm just gonna add just a little bit of flour, okay? And you want to start adding just a little bit. Don't add a whole bunch inside. Well, we can hide. Mm -hmm. So do you see, Amina, that the dough is almost ready? We just want that extra flour you see down there. Mm -hmm. We just want all that to come together. So we're going to put this down here. This is a really nice mat so it doesn't get everything dirty. Okay, Touch it. What does it feel like? It feels soft but firm. Good, and it feels like Play-Doh, right? Have yeah. you ever played played with Play-Doh before? Yes. Yeah. What I'm gonna do here now is, you can wear gloves if you like, but we're just gonna eat these at home, so I like to get in it with my hands. All right. What we're gonna do at this point, Amina, is we're just gonna make a nice ball, all right? And then we're gonna take a bowl and we're going to put a little bit of oil in here. It doesn't matter what kind of oil, 
but do you want to go ahead and just kind of spread this all over? Now, why, why do you think we add the oil? So that the dough doesn't stick too much to exactly. the bowl. Exactly. Great. Make sure and cover it, and we're going to let it rise. And you need to put it in a nice, warm place. How long it's going to rise depends on your yeast. It depends on the temperature of the house. So if you're doing it in winter, you know it's going to take longer. If you're doing it in summer, it's almost very, very quickly. All right, so let's go ahead, put this in a warm place, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. So, Amina, look at how beautiful the dough has risen. Can you tell that there's a difference? It became like smooth and it became bigger. Now I want you to try and poke your hands in there and see. Look at how, it's okay, just, it just go ahead. It keeps going up. See? Beautiful, right? So there are a gazillion little bubbles in there. And that's what made it rise. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make four sections. And honestly, the best thing to use is like a bench scraper. So we're going to make four sections here. All right. Then we're just going to make it into a bowl. Just like a ball. There we go. Okay, Amina, I got this ready for you. Okay. Now, what you can do is you can make it the traditional way that Tanzanians make it, or we can make it where it looks super nice. Look what I have here. So I wow. ordered some really nice cutters. We've got a camel shaped, we've got a heart shaped, we've got a star shaped. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you one of the rolling pins. All right. I'll take this. One. Okay. Now, Amina, if you feel that your dough is sticking, then you can just add a little bit of flour on top. I rolled out mine. And what I'm going to do with mine is I'm just going to show you the traditional way it's done. In Africa, this is how they make their African donuts, is how they look, is exactly like how I did it. So for you, let's do something special okay. and just cut some shapes for you, okay? Okay. You get started with the rolling. Mm -hmm. It shows. Do you help your mom a lot in the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah? It's really nice to help your mom in the kitchen because she's got a lot of stuff to do. And just by helping a little bit can be so much help. And you can, you can become a better cook. Exactly. Do you want to sprinkle a little bit of flour? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Good job. Yep, you're going to turn it around so it doesn't stick on the bottom. And you want to leave these a little thick. You don't want to get them super thin like a, like yep. a paratha or a chapati so that you can have them poof up. Do you think this is thick enough? You've got your, your middle done. Mm -hmm. What you don't have is your sides are too thick. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to go like this so that you can get the corners. So you're not doing it all the way in the middle, but you're just rolling the sides out because their sides are the ones that are thick. Okay. There you go. Yep. Good job. Yep. You want to go away from the... Yep. What we'll do now is we're going to turn it around just one more time so we can make sure that... There we go. I think this is perfect. So you can use a heart shape or you can use a camel shape or you could do the star shape. The only thing is once you put it on, you want to really, really press it down so that it cuts everywhere. Otherwise, okay. the dough is going to spread. Okay. So go ahead. I'll use the camel. Now, the other thing is also when you use it, you kind of want to be make sure that you get areas where you get most of the dough. Okay. All right. There we go. Press, press, press. Let's see. Mm hmm. Good job. Very good job. Yep. Oh, let's press a little bit. That's okay. Let's see if we can do it. I think I think we will have to go back in there. I think we got it. The head stuck yeah. in the sand. Yeah. So we got a camel. That looks cute. Mm hmm. There we go. So we yeah. have a heart shaped. Now we can also color the dough red. And then 
we can do our shape. So we can do that as well. We want to take the rest of the dough here and then we're going to make it into a ball again. Now the dough, can you feel the dough? Yep. It's, see, it's, it's hard, it's right? It's hardening. It's yeah. hardening. So now what we need to do is we need to put that back here and we have another one. So we're going to start. Okay. What we're going to do is the ones that we already did, we're going to put them here onto our cloth. And you want this to rise one more time. Once it rises, then we're going to be able to fry them. For my final one, I'll do a heart. Now, heart would be an amazing shape because heart tells us that we love each other. We love Allah. And the nice thing is we would be able to give these as a nice iftar gift. The hearts make me think of how I love others and how love people, others love me mm -hmm. and how people are connected through love with yes. each other, like families. Yep. And how does it feel when we get a gift? How does it feel when somebody shares their, their food that they've made by themselves? How does it make us feel? It makes us feel like those people care about us and mm -hmm. they love us. And we are very, very loved, right? Yes. So then just like how we receive love, it's great to give love. Right? Yes. Okay. Let's put that over here and then that's okay. <laughs> so Amina, now what we're going to do is one very, very important thing is that we want to make sure that an adult is in the kitchen with you when you're frying this. The oil gets very, very hot. So please do not do this on your own. Only do it if you have an adult in the kitchen with you. Okay. Okay. All right. So I think we've got our oil. Nice and hot. I'm going to add one in there and then you can do the other one, okay. okay? But do you see the difference between how we just put them on there and then we gave some time to them to rise? So they're even more pillowy soft. When you have the mahamri in your hand, mm -hmm. you don't want to just drop it in there. Because if you drop it in there, the oil is going to come back at you and it's going to burn. Mm -hmm. You want to get pretty close and drop it slowly okay. the slower i know some people just drop it in there because they're so scared of the oil but okay so do you want to take a shape and you want to put it in there i'll take this one mm -hmm. oh my goodness you did it you want to take a couple more okay mm -hmm. and amina mm -hmm. how about you use one of those heart ones that we did look at how pretty those are they look so cute yeah the Prophet said that if you love something for yourself, you should also love it for your Muslim brothers or sisters. Like how we're making this dish as Muslims, we should also love it for other people. Mm -hmm. And what makes us happy is when they eat it and they're like, oh my goodness, this is delicious. And when they break their fast and they eat this for iftar, it's even more salab, right? Yes. Yeah. So what you want to do is just, you just want to just fry these up. Do you want to add a couple more in there? And I'm going to take sure. these out. Now remember, go in slowly. There we go. Okay. Good job. Get some more in there. Um, I actually had some food coloring from Zanzibar. Now Zanzibar has a farm there and they actually get everything from fruits and vegetables, the colors from fruits and vegetables. And I love using those because those are natural. What's Look this at this one? camel. That, that was actually a mosque. So we try okay. and do our best, but sometimes when they kind of puff up, they don't yeah. hold their shape very well. There we go. I'll put in one last okay. part. Okay. And we have, that's the last one. When you take it out, you just want to make sure that you drain all the oil. So you okay. kind of want to hold it so the oil comes out, okay? Okay just like so. And this is what's going to take out all the extra oil. Okay. Okay. You can plop it in there. The oil is yep. going to drop. And we also pieces. put it on a tissue here. We also put it on a tissue paper so that it soaks up all the extra oil. There we go. Look at how many we made. So we're just going to put those on the plate here and look at these heart shaped ones. 
They look so nice. They look amazing. And our mosque turned out pretty good. Yeah. Our mosque turned out pretty good. You can see the dome. Yeah. Look at the camel. I think the camel is so, so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Hump is There's a hump on there. Yeah. Amina, do you want to give this a taste test? Do you want to try it? Yeah, sure. Okay. So when we break into it, it should be a little hollow inside and it should be a little bit of doughy inside as well. Mm. See that? Now, yes. let's give it a try. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. That's good. That's some good mahamri, huh? Mm -hmm. I can taste the cardamom. You can taste the cardamom. And I think that's what brings... Do you taste any coconut? Yeah, I can taste a little coconut in there. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll show you something. Here, I have some pigeon pea curry which is a type of a um, a type of a bean okay yes. and i uh, made we made this in with coconut milk because this is how it's eaten so we're just gonna put some right here now there are a couple different ways of making this but in tanzania they don't use any turmeric in here that's why okay. it's white okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip it in here That's good. Very delicious, right? Mm -hmm. Because, what do you think? The curry is a little bit salty. And then the sweetness. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Balance. Yep, yep. So, mm -mm -mm. so you can, we can just even serve it, you know, if you're going to have it at your, if you are making it for your family. Mm -hmm. Look at how beautiful this looks. It's really cute, the mm -hmm. camel. The camel is really, I can't yeah. get over the camel myself. And now, if somebody gave this to us as a gift, wouldn't we like that? Yeah, it would feel nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what would even feel even better is that we did it ourselves. We made it. We made an effort to make something for someone we love, right? Yes. And they're so, and you can make this with your mom. So yeah. Allah is so happy with us when we help our mom, right? Yeah, that was so fun and it was easy too. It was as easy as a snap.